What did where did the beef ever come from for you and Nicki Minaj? It seemed like you just don't get along. She kind of idolized you when she first came out with you know a lot of the stuff she did, whether it was her mixtapes, whether it was the same posters, the same posters. Every female rapper coming up under Kim idolized Kim. Right. So so what happened? What was the the, the left turn where it was just like? Can I ask you this? Let Absolutely. Me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. How come when I come up places they want to ask me these questions, but they don't never ask her? Oh, we definitely we did. Asked yeah, we did ask her. Absolutely. We definitely asked her. No, mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. And you know what she said? She said she didn't know. And, uh, she that, said, that was it. Right. And like she, she said she way, idolized and you. And she she has a way of trying to avoid the situation, and y'all let her do it. But it's okay. Never. Yeah, y'all yeah, do. Nikki answered it straight but up. Look, but but the, the last time y'all asked her was probably when it was very fresh. No, it was, no we asked about her album came out with last month. She was yeah. a month ago. Yeah, yeah, no, but you were on her album, so Absolutely. it only made sense. He's a buyer. He's a buyer. No, 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 no. Yeah, listen. it's okay. Yeah, I know. This, 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 I, Nikki's my homie, but this was my issue with Kim stem from. Like, it's, it, Kim's the OG. And it seemed when you was coming at Nikki, you was, you know, just being bitter and but disgruntled. You're wrong. You seemed like like the old, you remember Players but Club? You're is wrong. The, the let me tell you why, chick. Let me tell you why you're wrong. And let me tell you why you did wrong. Because it's deeper than that. Me and Slim were friends for four years. Mm -hmm. And we decided that we were going to go into business together. Right? And I was over there at Cash Money. I was getting ready to be partners with them. While I was over there, we were working a lot. Like, I was in Miami, and he put me in the studio. I would be in New York, and we would be working. We, was, we were constantly talking. Baby said to me, hey, you know, I want you to be on my album, well, whatever. And... You know, he sent this song over. It was empty. Mm -hmm. And it just had a hook on it. And so I, I sent it back to him quick. They had the record for a while. And, I, you know, me and Slim were talking. We were talking, constantly talking. And so I, sa I said to Slim, when I went back to Miami, I said, because I'm not stupid. I said, listen, we're about to be, like, the mafia family. It's like... I'm the Gambinos, you know, you have like the family inside mm -hmm. of the family. I would be the Gambinos, they would be whatever, whatever, but we're all gonna be family, so go ahead, put whoever you want on the record. Cause I already knew, right. I already knew. But I said, this record gotta be big because it would be good for music right now. Good for females, good for hip hop. When I saw Baby, he's like, oh baby girl, we gonna make it big, we gonna do a video, we gonna do this, we gonna do that, we gonna make it big. Everybody's gonna know, they put the record out, I guess, they didn't like the response, and when they saw the response, they pulled it. They just pulled the record off, pulled mm -hmm. it back, never put it on his album, nothing. Then I'm like, it's like I'm not even hearing from them, mm -hmm. and it's like, wow, wow, you know what I mean? And if you listen to that song, the way I did my vocals, hers were different from how I did my vocals at that time. Mm -hmm. so shortly after that, she started releasing all these records. You, doing her vocals the way I did my vocals. Now, okay, whatever. You know what I mean? But you have to look back. I My fans may not like when I do a certain type of music, but that was a sound that I was getting ready to start. Mm -hmm. And I was starting a sound a long time ago. And if he tell you that this is not true, he's lying. But I played a record for Slim called Automatic. It's a San Tropez dance type of, type of record. It's mm -hmm. three years ago I played him this record. Mm -hmm. On her new album, she has a song called Automatic, and the song is so similar to the song that I played for Slim. The whole sound that I brought to the table, because when Slim was like, what you working on? Let me see it, you know, here, where you going with it? She was still doing whatever she was doing when she first came out, the, the way she was rapping. I brought a whole new sound. Next thing you know, Two, three years later, you know, now that she's, you know, moving and, and, and moving in the game or whatever, this is the whole new sound. Whether my fans would have liked that sound or not, it was my sound. Mm -hmm. I brought that to the table. She, the problem with her is she was very catty with it. I never had a problem with her. I was always nice with her. Always. She was a very obnoxious person, but I was always nice with her. From the time I saw her in that dressing room, the story she told, I don't even know what the heck she was talking about. Like, that doesn't even, that's not even how it happened. But from the moment that I met her, I was always cool with her. But after that, it almost seems like 
when they realized, okay, we need Kim. We want we want to study her swag. That's what it kind of felt like because I was around for a long time, and they're like, okay, let's study her swag, and you know, we'll. we'll and I think they wanted to get that record just to stamp that I was okay with what was going on. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? For me, it was a break back into rotation. Mm-hmm. Into You know, if that would have been a big video and a big event record, it would have been good for both of us. But I personally think they didn't want me to stand beside her. Which is stupid. But it's not it's like, so it's stupid. Not like a Young Money Cash Money thing. Like, they did that. Not no, necessarily but Nikki. you gotta understand something. She was always throwing shots. I don't know what you're talking about. I you never need heard to it. go. You need because you're not I, trying. I used to, to hear her pay homage, like she said. Sweetie, she used to say, "I love Kim. I love Foxy." You're not Foxy. trying to do your homework. That's why, boo boo. You got to do your homework. If you go on all of those, sit those little the come up DVD, even with Fendi. Fendi would even say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because you know she was just a real cocky type of girl, or whatever. She just she always wanted to be like you. She always wanted to be. And she would say, "I'm gonna take her spot." I let me tell you something. How I know, Full Force had her. Full Force's son had her first. Mm-hmm. Do you know that? Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. They had her first. When I did the song on my album, you can't f- with Queen B. You know that song. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know, but mm-hmm. anyway, when I did that song on my album, that's Full Force singing that song. Mm-hmm. That they did that song. She was in the studio then, and they said she was basically hating on me then, but loving me at the same time. Okay, fine. Now, after that whole cash money situation with the song, we're at Justin's birthday party. Perfect timing to come up and say, hey, you know, we did the song together. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nothing. And she looked at me and rolled her eyes, and I was like, really? Every single record she's made was coming at me. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody who's smart with a brain everybody who knows music knows damn well and that puffy record she was coming at me i didn't say nothing about this chick i didn't say nothing about this chick at this time with a, she was coming at me in that puffy re- in the puffy record she was coming at me and all, all these records that she was doing the, the jay and kanye rest I, I didn't say nothing so what is all i don't understand where all this is how, coming how come when male rappers like get on records and you know they talk cocky and aggressive nobody ever says oh it's, it's targeted towards anybody but when a female does it it's either, oh, they got to be going at Cam, or if you do it, oh, she got to be going at Nikki. Why y'all just can't be rapping? But Why does it have to be aimed towards somebody? Maybe like it's just rap. Males, though. What are you talking about? It, it does happen, happen like that. Too. Yes, it does. It happens Wayne with males. You want to know Jay, the difference Jay, with Jay, males? Jay, They're not around. like her. She wanted to be the only female out there. So when Baby and them said, we're not fucking with this chick because you can't stand next to her, she loved it. Because she didn't want to stand next to me. I think it's her. She wanted to be out there by herself. I think the and industry puts is, women against each other all yeah, the time, Yeah, they do. Though. That's exactly I mean, it, what it, happened. It, and my thing is, you have to be smart enough to say, yo, I don't know what they talking about, but you my bitch. Don't start coming at me in records, talking to me, just talking about me disrespectful, you know what I'm saying, indirectly. Don't do that. Don't do that. At would, the end of the day, she should have just said, I don't care. You my bitch. Yo, I want to still do other things with you. Let's just do it. Forget about what this... Because at I the think end for of the women, day, it's harder because they do make it seem like there's only one woman that could be the female rapper at the time. And it's that's always, whack, though. It's, it's always me again. But, that's, but that's, that's the way the industry is. No, it's not. You had Latifah. You had MC Light at one point. And you had Kim. You had Foxy. You had Eve. Foxy. Because you know why? We all understood the essence of music and how it's supposed to go. They knew what she was. I'm not saying that she's not... She, I'm not saying she's a horrible artist, but I definitely think she's overrated because she's not a horrible artist to me. I don't think she's a horrible artist at all. I, I know other artists that are... She's all right. But the thing is, is that they... This is what I feel. I was so looking forward to that video happening because I thought that would have been so great. You know what I mean? It would have been great. Like, I, I love when women want to be like me. I think that is the biggest flattery. I mean, you the OG. Doesn't? Of course you're going to have influence. Well, at the end of the day, I am just who I am. You know what I mean? So I think whether I was in the industry rapping or not, maybe somebody could be attracted to my style. Maybe somebody could just be attracted to the way I move. Maybe somebody could be attracted to the way I talk. At the end of the day, it's an attraction. You know what I mean? And don't downplay it. If you go back and you, she's asked all these times, 
You need to do your homework because I don't know what I've you're saying. Envy, have you heard Nikki pay homage to Kim? Yeah, she definitely pay homage before oh, you no. know, but no. if, if, but no, if she was taking shots, that might be something personal that I no. don't know about. Envy. But I, I heard her pay homage Envy. before because she said you, she no. looked up to you. Even when she did that, mm. fo- that, that no. mixtape cover, when uh-uh. she did the same position as you. No. But this time they said I understand something. If somebody says, I love you, but I hate you, that's not homage. But we don't hear that. At the same, because y'all don't want to hear it. I mean, if, you don't want to hear if, it. If I'm not, if you don't want to hear it, if I hear somebody say hear I love it. Kim and then I hear her going at somebody on the record, I'm not gonna think she's going at you. No, but you. And you, in personal conversations, she's never told me that. But then if you, say, you, say, you hear that. somebody say screw this person, screw that, screw that, and that same person that you that they said they love. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, she said that after work? you know you decapitated no, her on her mixtape cover. This is weird. All right, listen, we can't argue because little Kim has her feeling on what she's heard and what she knows from her own experience. I would like to see them have a conversation. It's not. They're no, both from New York. We're not having a conversation, but it's fact. <laughs> right. It's fact. And it might be things that we as an audience it's, don't know because, because we don't pick not, up on it. But that's not what I was saying. All right, well, let's fast forward. So no, you would never, no, it would never on. squash? Let's never? stay level. Let's oh, stay good. still. Let me tell you why we need to stay All right, still. Now because I'm about to take y'all hip hop cards if y'all don't do your homework. All Go right. do your homework. It's out there. I'm not, this ain't nothing I'm making up. You can go do your homework. Now let's fast forward. Music. When are we getting a kill? Oh, we got one more chick. Now, you know what? It was a chick going at you on Twitter crazy, oh, Daddy really? Banks. I only heard one record from her. What? <laughs> what? All right, go ahead. I'm just asking. No, it started off with her excited to talk to Little Kim no, and do a song. No, she was going no, at it start, she was it started off. Kim. This is how it started. She said Little Kim DM'd her and said she was going to do a record with her. Mm-hmm. She was excited about that. And then she said she sent the song to Little Kim, but she tried to write her verse for her. And then they sent it back and said, Little Kim writes her own stuff. She don't need you to write the verse. Right? That, that's what happened. On Twitter, and then she started going in on you. Uh, man, I never met this girl a day in my life. I never talked to this chick. I never. She don't know what I sound like. I don't know what she sound like on the phone. But let me tell you, I think it's in chicks' contracts when they come out. Go at you. Got to go at little. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing you <laughs> sign. That is in the contract. You get your, your twenty thousand dollars, and then <laughs> that, you got to go out. That's Kim. it. It's oh, in there. Goodness. It's in there. Now let's I, talk I, about I music. When are we gonna get a single? And when are we gonna get Kim back? When are we gonna do an album? We gonna get it, and we gonna get it at the right time. God do everything in in, in the, at the right time. So right now you you're putting I mean? out singles independently, and then I know yeah. you said that you have labels negotiating it's gotta and fighting. It's got to be right. It's got to be right. I, I've I've gone through so many negotiation yes, meetings. <laughs> Now, what's your crazy. ideal place? It's to just be? that you know, at this point, and it's not really about the major money to me because I, I know how to do those type of deals where, you know, my my royalties will be. You know, astronomical. My my, you know, the 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 back end would be great for me. It's just that there's certain things that me as an artist now that I just can't, you know, I can't settle because at the end of the day, I make a lot and majority of my money on on television. Right. Like that's a great, that's a big feel for me. You know, television and endorsements and stuff like that. And you know, a lot of people want a big part of that because they know that's a big part of me. And I'm like, I, I, listen, this is about music. We're not going to, you know what I mean? So yeah. it just had to well, be. We, we look forward to that. Kim got to go. Yeah, you know, yeah, that, she, but you know, I would love to see Kim and Nikki, you know, sit down and, and but, hash it out. Forget all the middlemen. Forget young money. But why? It's not going to be hashed out. It's not going to happen. That, you, you, Y'all you, both from New York. No, it's not going to happen. You know, Look, sometimes emails. people just don't like each it's other. It's not going to happen. Listen, I'm a and cancer like reason, Kim's a cancer, so right, I understand. So if you're a cancer like me, then you should know something is not it. right. No, you don't get it. Because you're still saying that she paid homage and that she was she respectful. Definitely did. No, she wasn't. You want to say that, but you, you, that's not true. It's not true. You are Before a true she cancer, even, yo. cause I'm, you know, I'm right. You know, I'm right. <laughs> you don't want to see it, cause you've already built this relationship with her, and y'all have whatever, whatever. I don't give a damn. You That's know my homie, whatever, no right, doubt. Whatever. But at the end of the day, you still the OG, and but I would love to see the OG, the OG em- all embrace that. the OG generation. All that, all of that, because that has nothing to do with it when it comes to respect and when it comes to matter of fact. Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. When a chick. Let me tell you something. I'm going to leave this on this note. You will see. Everything in the dark comes to the light. That's all I got to say. And don't forget tomorrow, <laughs> Little Kim is performing in the Bronx. The Bronx. Paradise Theater. Paradise Theater. You know what I'm saying? When are you and performing in Brooklyn, too? Hosted by we gotta do, we gotta Mob do. Wise. And call her 105 right now. We got a pair of tickets. 800-585-1051. If you want to hang out with Little Kim in the Bronx tomorrow, Paradise Theater in the Bronx, call her 105 is going to see Little Kim. Yes. We appreciate you Stop hanging with us. Stop hating on Little Kim. That's the, that's, the, that's the marquee for today. No hating on Little Kim. And you know what I'm saying? Just 
just just You feel watch. some respect now, Charlamagne, just or what? Watch. What you mean? She's saying stop hating on little Kim. I've never hated on yeah, Kim. I give did. honest yeah, opinions, yeah, and my but opinions it's not come from honest, though, no. It's my it's my it's honest not. opinions. My honest opinions come from like when I said the thing with Nikki. You see, you was coming off old and disgruntled. That's how you were sounding. Okay, sounded like well, you, okay, but you know what? Let me tell you something, right? You know the saying: never judge a book by its cover. No to doubt. Read it. Absolutely. You didn't read the book. All right. Because if you read the book. You would have known a history about me being over there at Cash Money and all, you know, doing the whole situation. It's deeper than that. And then no one can sit here and say, everyone, it's there. There's a there's a video, just just go in there. There's a video that my fans made that's, that's called Playtime is Over. That's go watch it. And I will say this. I respect Kim it. for coming up here because I have slandered Kim relentlessly. I, know, I really yeah. did not think Kim was going to And if Kim can come up here, any artist can come up I'll here. I'll tell you Kim yeah, coming. It don't bother me. You know why? Because I'm comfortable in my skin. And you know, and, 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 that, and now that I, that picture they put out of you was definitely Photoshop because you didn't look like, you don't look like that. No. Look like they put out that. a picture of you and you looked like Jeremy Lin. You don't look like Jeremy Lin in person. Jeremy Lin. That's how the picture looked. Remember the picture? I was the picture? Oh, that was the, uh, the BET well, thing. Everybody yeah. looks yeah. different than they picture. No, no, no. They somebody they photo. Yeah. Somebody actually did Photoshop. They tried to make you look crazy. Well, it's the Breakfast oh, Club okay. on Power yeah. 105.1. Little kid.